Welcome to Skedline. I'm Gozar Wander. Here's what's happening in sports. It turns out the Jays have been double dipping when it comes to their ticket sales. A joint investigation by the CBC and Toronto Star reveals that the Blue Jays have been getting a portion of revenue from scalped ticket sales on StubHub. Ticket scalping has been a big problem in Toronto, being considered underhanded and unethical. Nearly 50% of tonight's, today's tickets were posted on StubHub, with an average markup on prices being over 200%. Fans are understandably appalled that the Blue Jays secretly approve of and benefit from a practice that will soon be banned in Ontario. Check out Skedline.com for reactions from Humber students on this issue. Those of you who did manage to get tickets for today's game against the New York Yankees may see some changes to Rogers Centre security. The city will be closing and limiting access to certain roads around the Rogers Centre during popular events like Blue Jays games to make things safer for pedestrians. Residents of the area will have to acquire security passes to drive these roads when the closures are in effect. Today is a particularly busy day for the arena. Not only will it be the Jays' first game back, but a Lord concert is also happening tonight. The final four teams in the NCAA Championship will show down this Saturday. Both semifinal games will take place Saturday night with Michigan Wolverines hosting the Lo Loyola Ramblers and the Villanova Wildcats hosting the Kansas Jayhawks. Kansas is coming in hot after they eliminated Duke on Sunday, 85-81, to but they may meet their match against Villanova, the current favorite. The winners are set to fight for the championship this Monday. The autopsy for NBA G League player Zeke Upshaw is complete. Examiners say Upshaw suffered a sudden cardiac arrest when he collapsed on court on Sunday. The 26-year-old was a forward for the Grand Rapids Drive, an affiliate of the Detroit Pistons. An investigation will continue for the next few weeks to look for any more abnormalities. LeBron James has tied one of the most impressive records ever set by Michael Jordan. James had his 866th consecutive game with at least 10 points last night. Jordan set this very streak from 1986 to 2001. James started his streak in January of 2007, but he can potentially break it in his next game on Friday night. This draws another comparison between James and Jordan, who is still considered the best NBA player in history. The Toronto Raptors are one win away from tying a record of their own. The Raptors are headed to Boston to face the Celtics this Saturday. The Raptors and Celtics are the current numbers 1 and 2 in the Eastern Conference. If the Raptors take it, they tie their franchise season record for wins set in their 2015-2016 season. They still have two home games and two away games left after their Boston showdown. Raptors are still fresh off their win against the Denver Nuggets, 114-110. to And lastly, NBA records aren't the only ones that are breaking. The Toronto Maple Leafs beat the Florida Panthers 4-3 to and made a couple records of their own. Yesterday's win marked their 46th win of the season and 27th home game win. They beat records set in 1999-2000 season and the 2003-2004 season, which saw them win 45 games, and their 2005-2006 season where they won 26 home games. If that wasn't enough for you, Austin Matthews got his 30th goal for the second year in a row, done only by two other Leafs in, the, in history in the beginning of their careers. It also makes the Leafs the only team with three players getting 30 goals a season, along with James Van Riemsdyk and Azeem Kadri. Mitch Marner even made a personal point streak record, scoring four goals and nine assists in 10 games. Yesterday's win gave the Leafs 99 points, putting them just in reach for their record of 103 points, set in 2001 and 2002. To find out what other records your favorite players are breaking, keep it right here on Skedline.com. I've been Gulzar Wander. Thanks for watching.